Saski here from Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue, and with me I have Dr. Nen. Dr. Nen. So we uh, we were talking, and I thought, you know what? Let's do a video about this because I really want to know. There's this it, there's a lot of talk about it, and I needed to get to the bottom of it. So who better to turn to than Dr. Nen? So it's about gut stasis in guinea pig. It is one of the most diagnosed. Um, Syndromes, is it a syndrome? Sure. Yeah. Um, with guinea pigs that are not eating and that are not defecating. So what is causing that? Because then I think, well listen, if a guinea pig is not feeling well and stops eating, then surely that is going to make that the guinea pig is not pooping. Because that's really what a gut stasis means. It's a kind of stock, right? It's, a, it's yes. not moving. There's no movement. It's a stasis. It's static. And I find that if a guinea pig doesn't eat, then it will become static in there and nothing will move. So that I think is the, is, is the problem. And then the fact that it stays that way because the animal's still not eating. And the only way it will start moving through again is when the animal eats. So gut stasis as a diagnosis. How do you feel about that? What are your thoughts on that? I think that's a tricky one because in a lot of mammals, we find gut stasis secondary to a primary problem. So we might see them and at the point that we see them, their gut is not moving, they're not pooping, they're not eating, and they are in gut stasis. But what's causing the gut stasis? Is it because, like what Saski were saying, that there's a primary problem that they're not eating, they don't feel good, they stop eating, so they're not pooping because they're not producing poop, they don't have enough feed to produce the normal output that you see. And why did they stop eating and why is their gut stopped? So their gut can stop from a multitude of reasons. Some of the more sad and, and uh, chronic ones that we see would be like a cancer in the GI tract or an infection in the GI tract, something along those lines, or even um, some parasitic infections and things like that. But it's usually, at least when we see them, secondary to a primary cause. And the primary cause can be very difficult to determine. So a lot of the times I think that we see them and they get diagnosed with gut stasis and then we try to do some help for what we see in the moment rather than finding the primary problem for what the gut stasis is. So like the guinea pig is not eating, that, that's a big problem. So that could be actually the reason for the fact that nothing is moving. The nothing motility moving. is not there because there's nothing coming in. Mm -hmm. um, and if there's no input, there's no output. Yes. So, and I find that a lot of people hang on to that diagnosis, like, okay, it's gut, it's gut stasis, that's my diagnosis. Like, oh, I don't know, maybe you need to look a little deeper and see why, why is my guinea pig not eating? Because that, I think, is what causes it. Yes. And, it's, and it, it, it's, it happens, and I see it all the time with the guinea pigs that have teeth issues all the time because they're not eating so the the, the, the output is just is minimal at best and you'll mm -hmm. never see normal poops so i think it's really important that people understand that that unless there's food coming in there's nothing going to come out and that's you know they're expecting things to come out when in fact there's nothing coming going to, going to the front in. it cannot really come out mm -hmm. um so and and you know and then also that is mentioned in the same sentence as bloat gut stasis bloat Right. Um, I've got a really good example with the gut stasis is I just saw a guinea pig that had a mass in her mouth. She went into an emergency veterinary clinic and they diagnosed her with gut stasis, which is very true. That's exactly what was going on with her. She wasn't eating. She wasn't pooping. So they put her on some gastric motility things. They put her on some Batrol to try to help whatever was causing the gut stasis. But the, the problem was that she had a mass in her mouth. So she yeah. couldn't eat, right. secondary to that, and who knows if that mass had metastasized elsewhere. But she couldn't eat, which caused the gut stasis, and it was all because the and mass then in the mouth. And the, then what is, what is happening often is that the, that, that, that non-motility is being treated, the stasis is, is being, they're throwing lots of stuff at that, when mm -hmm. that is actually not going to get the animal better, we need to figure out what 
Yeah. What is really causing that? That's the band-aid on top of what's actually causing the gut yeah. stasis. And and bloat. That's another one that's like a really huge thing. It's like, oh bloat, bloat, bloat. And I hear it so often. And yes, it's an extraordinarily serious condition, but we don't really see it that often. And I always wondered about that. How come we right. don't see it all the time if it's that prevalent, right? Right. And we've done, you have done a whole bunch of x-rays over the years now of animals and you see their gut contents and their gas content and, and you've come to an interesting conclusion. That a lot of the x-rays that we see on completely normal guinea pigs that'll be x-raying them for something in their head or their sinuses, something like that, will have a large amount of gas in their GI tract. That if I had seen a guinea pig that we were questioning if they had bloat or not and we saw that, I'd be like, ooh, that's probably bloat. But we're seeing that same amount of gas in normal guinea pigs. Yeah. So it's not, it, it, I don't want to say that it's something that's overdiagnosed, but the potential is there because a normal guinea pig carries a lot of gas in their GI tract anyways. Right, exactly. <clears throat> so that is something we wanted to do and do like a bigger study where we take like 40 of our pigs and, and, and x-ray all of them to see what the gas content is in their stomach, to see what is normal, what is not, and what is borderline and, and what you have to worry about and what you don't have to worry about because a gas is normal in a guinea pig stomach. So that's something we're doing and we'd be mm -hmm. planning to do that, but she's too busy. She's getting all like famous now and everybody wants her because she's so darn good, okay? So and that's why, <laughs> that's why, that's why we, we just can't get to that stuff, but we will, but we will. But uh, I just, she was here and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna snag her and we're gonna do this video. So thank you so much. And thank you all for watching. I hope, you know, you picked up something from this.